this is this is awesome. Um, if you haven't seen it, Tattoo is coming to town, right, Scott Jackson? Yes, April 23rd to 26th, Scope Arena. Okay, this is a huge event every year, and I got to play. I mean, and you got to get a ticket now because they're going fast. Absolutely. Right. But you got you really messed with me this year, because every year there's there's a musician on board, somebody with a dress on or skirt on, you know, all kinds. I don't get the dog. Well, I'm going to ask Nick to say <laughs> a little about this fantastic person. We are honoring military families this year, yeah. and Tosca here is part of his military family. Yeah, Nick, uh, Nick Bean from the, the U.S. Coast Guard. Yes, sir. And and your your partner. This is my canine partner, Tosca. Um, she's a six-year-old Belgian Malinois, uh, attached to the Maritime Security Response Team in Chesapeake with the Coast Guard. Cool. Now, does she go with you everywhere when you're uh, in uniform? Then, when I'm in uniform and out of uniform, she's with me more than my wife and kid. Oh wow! She's, I got to ask you, does she swim? She does swim. She does swim. She's a very graceful swimmer. She didn't used to be, but she is now. Now you have to set her up for different experiences that she's going to have. I mean, she's been trained for everything that could be. Every on, right? everything that she would that we could replicate that she will come up. Well, how did you get her prepared for Norfolk Perspectives then? I'm almost afraid to ask. Um, it, it took some time and. Well, we got it done. Adjustment. Okay. It done. So, does she play piccolo, bagpipe? What does she play? Uh, she's more of a drummer. She's, well, she's a drummer, a drummer yes. with the tail. Yes. Now, will she be playing drum? Because I didn't see her in that picture. But is she going to play? So, there will be a new aspect of the show this year. We had a great. You're changing it up. We're changing it up. Last year, we had a great experience working with the Coast Guard. Their MSRT team participated in the obstacle race. Did a fantastic job. Yeah. And for years, I really wanted to have a working dog in the show. And we were able to work with them. We've got two working dogs. I Tosca, think you found it. And her partner, I believe, is called Tin. Tin, yes. Tin also. They'll be taking turns in the show. A lot of times we have some one big group do a scene, another group big uh, do a scene, and we need about a minute in between to get things sorted. They're going to come out, and we're going to ask a volunteer from the audience to place kind of a simulated explosive under some different boxes, almost like a shell game. And Tosca and Tim will come out and demonstrate their detection abilities. We'll let the audience see them and see them working. And I think in a broader sense, as we honor military families, we really honor these working dogs do tremendous work for us, and right. they are part of our military families. Let's talk about the military family and the tribute, because you're not just talking about current service, are you? You're going back. No, we're going, back, uh, going back a ways. In fact, one of the really neat things about the show this year, we're asking people, um, to please send us pictures of your military family, whether it's your current family or your mom and dad or growing up. We've already gotten some awesome photos. You know, someone from our staff, her grandfather served in World War II mm -hmm. in Egypt, and we have a picture of him on a camel. Oh, wow. So during the show, we're going to run a montage of the military families of people that attend. So I'd encourage people to go to our website. You'll see some simple instructions how to send a photo. But we think this will really personalize it. I think. When you live in Hampton Roads, which has the largest concentration of military families in the world, it's uh, natural to honor, honor military families. And I think I love the idea of reaching out and letting them share some of their memories and some of their experiences with us and, and to share that with the broader audience. I think it's going to be great. Scott, I haven't missed a year, but and I still can't figure out what word to put on tattoo except for extreme. But, I mean, is it a musical? I mean, it, it's got music. It's got some drama in it. It's now going to have a dog after many years of no dog. Okay, I said it. Um, it's, got, it's got dancers. Well, it's if I had one word for it, yeah. I called overwhelming. Because okay, good. if you're there for music, it will be more music than you could possibly imagine. If you're there to honor the military, it'll be more dignified and respectful than you could possibly imagine. If you're there for spectacle, it'll be more spectacular than you could possibly imagine. I really think it's overwhelming. I think everyone has a moment in that show that they're sitting there and say, I can't believe how lucky I am to be here, and there's nowhere else I'd rather be. And I feel that working, working there, and I think the performers feel it. We have more than 900 performers, and you see two of them here. Yeah. People from eight countries, people traveling all over the world from Korea, Finland, um, Australia, you know, thousands and millions of miles of travel to come here, be in Hampton Roads, be in Norfolk, and put on a show unlike anything else in the world. There's very few chances to see 900 people working together, and it's two hours long, and it flies by. Which is why it's the best tattoo in the world, in my opinion. I know you've kind of 
you know, gone to other places that have tattoos, but they don't have a Coast Guard dog in them, do they? Well, the other thing that's amazing, I do go to other shows to yeah. scout groups and, and to learn things, and I have a lot of respect for the other shows, but one of the great things, when you go to a show in the United States of America, the patriotism is unlike anywhere else in the world. Well, and that kind of, let's talk about the couple of days before, and we have one minute left, but uh, those 900 people don't just come together on Thursday night and perform for the first time. There's a lot of hard work, but they're in downtown. That's so right. We need to celebrate them being here. Don't we? Oh, yeah, it's a great time to be downtown, see people in uniform, see the excitement for three hours before every show. We have a free party we call Hullabaloo. Mm -hmm. the, it's a great time. The sun's really shining on Norfolk in late April with a tattoo in town. It's a great time to be part of it. Cool. Well, thank you. And Nick, you did well because she's nice and relaxed just for Norfolk Perspectives. So thanks a lot. We, we want to hear from you what you'd like to see on TV48, but more importantly, give us a holler what's going on in your neighborhood and how you can become engaged. 664-6510. And as usual, it's a wonderful time to be in Norfolk just because of you, 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 and you too.